let's say you're in 2016 mm -hmm. and you asked uh, an AI, an AGI, uh, hey, I want to make everything a lot more efficient. I want to be able to use the same amount of compute today, but end up with a model 100x better. Mm -hmm. And then the answer ended up being transformer. But instead, it was done by an AI instead of Google brain researchers, <laughs> right? Now, now, what is the value of that? The value of that is like trillion dollars, technically yeah. speaking. So would you be willing to pay uh, $100 million for that one job? Yes. But how many people can afford $100 million for one job? Very few. Some high net worth individuals and some really well capitalized companies. And nations, if it turns to that. Correct. Where nations take control. Nations, yeah. So that is where we need to be clear about like, the regulation is not on the mo like that, that's where I think the ho whole conversation around like you know oh the weights are dangerous or like oh that, that's all like really uh, flawed and it's more about like application and who has access to all this. A quick turn to a pothead question: What do you think is the timeline for the thing we're talking about? If you had to predict and bet the $100 million <laughs> that we just made. Uh, no, we made a trillion, we paid a hundred million, sorry. Uh, th on when these kinds of big leaps will be happening. Do you think it'll be a, a series of small leaps? Like the kind of stuff we saw with ChatGPT with our light Jeff? Uh, or is, it, there, is there going to be a moment that's truly, truly transformational? I don't think it'll be like one single moment. Uh, it doesn't feel like that to me. Um, maybe I'm wrong here. Nobody, nobody knows, right? But uh, it seems like it's limited by um, a few clever breakthroughs on like how to use iterative compute. Yeah. And I've, I like look. It's clear that the more inference compute you throw at an answer, like, like getting a good answer, you can get better answers. But I've not seen anything that's more like, um, oh, take an answer, you don't even know if it's right, um, and 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 like have some notion of algorithmic truth, some logical deductions, and uh, if let's say like you're asking a question on uh, the origins of COVID, mm -hmm. very controversial topic, evidence in conflicting directions, a sign of a higher intelligence is something that can come and tell us that the world's experts today are not telling us because they don't even know themselves. So like a, a measure of truth or truthiness. Can it truly create new knowledge? And what does it take to create new knowledge? Uh, at the level of a PhD student in an, in, a, in, a, in an academic institution where the research paper was actually very, very impactful. So there's several things there. One is impact. And one is truth. Yeah, I, I'm talking about like, like, like real truth, like to questions that we don't know, and explain itself, and helping us, like you know, understand what, it, like, why it is the truth. If we see some signs of this, at least for some hard questions that puzzle us, I'm not talking about like things like it has to go and solve the clay mathematics challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's it's more like real practical questions that are less understood today. Uh, if it can arrive at a better sense of truth, uh, I think mean, Elon has this uh, like thing, right? Like, can you can you build an AI that that's like Galileo or Copernicus, where uh, it questions our current understanding and comes up with a new uh, position, which will be contrarian and misunderstood, but might end up being true. And based on which, especially if it's in like in the realm of physics, you can build a machine that does something. So like right. nuclear fusion, it comes up with a contradiction to our current understanding of physics that helps us build a thing that generates a lot of energy, for example. Right. Or even something less dramatic. Yeah. Some mechanism, some machine, some something we can engineer and see like, holy shit. Yeah. This is an idea. This is not just a mathematical idea, like it's a mat uh, theorem prover. Yeah. And, and like, like the answer should be so mind blowing that you never even expected it. Although humans do this thing where they, they've, their mind gets blown, they quickly dismiss, they quickly take it for granted, you know, because it's the other, like the, it's an AI system, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll lessen its power and value. I mean, there are some beautiful algorithms humans have come up with, uh, like, like your, 
you have the electrical engineering background. So, you know, like like uh, fast Fourier transform, discrete cosine transform, right? These are like really cool algorithms that are so practical, yet so simple in terms of core insight. I wonder what if there's like the top 10 algorithms of all time, like FFTs are up there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> let, let's say, let, Quick let's, let's, let's keep the <laughs> thing know. grounded to even the current sure. conversation, right? Like page rank. Page rank, right? yeah, yeah. So these are the sort of things that I, I feel like AIs are not, the AIs are not there yet to like truly come and tell us, hey, guy, hey, hey, Lex, listen, you're not supposed to look at text patterns alone. You, you, you have to look at the link structure. Like, like that sort of a truth. I wonder if I'll be able to hear the AI though. Like you mean the internal reasoning, the monologues? No, no, no. If an AI tells me that, uh huh. I I wonder if I'll take it seriously. You may not, and that's okay. But at least it'll force you to think. Force me to think. Huh? That that's something I I didn't consider. And like you'll be like, okay, why should I? Like, how how's it going to help? And then it's going to come and explain. No, no, no. Listen, if you just look at the text patterns, you're going to overfit on like websites gaming you. But instead, you have an authority score now. That's the cool metric to optimize for is the number of times you make the user think. Yeah. Like, truly huh. think. Yeah, like, really think. Yeah. And it's hard to measure because yeah. you don't you don't really know if they're like uh, say, saying that, you know, on, on a front end like this. The timeline is best decided when we first see a sign of something like this. Not saying at the level of impact that page rank or any of the fast Fourier transform, something like that, but even just at the level of a PhD student in an academic lab, not talking about the greatest PhD students or greatest scientists. Like if we can get to that, then I think we can make a more accurate estimation of the timeline. Today's systems don't seem capable of doing anything of this nature. So a truly new idea. Yeah. Or more in-depth understanding of an existing, like more in-depth understanding of the origins of COVID than what we have today. So that it's less about like arguments and ideologies and debates and more about truth. Well, I mean, that one is an interesting one because we humans are, we divide ourselves into camps and so it becomes controversial, so. But why? Because we don't know the truth, that's why. I know, but what happens is if an AI comes up with a deep truth about it, that humans will too quickly, unfortunately, will politicize it potentially. They will say, well, this AI came up with that because mm -hmm. if it goes along with the left wing narrative, because mm -hmm. it's Silicon Valley. Because it's been like already right coded. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that, 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 that would be the knee jerk reactions, but I'm talking about something that will stand the test of time. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and maybe that's just like one particular question. Let's let's assume a question that has nothing to do with like how to solve Parkinson's or like what whether something is really correlated with something else, whether Ozempic has any like side effects. These are the sort of things that you know. Um, I would want like more insights from talking to an AI than than like the best human doctor, and to date, it doesn't seem like that's the case. That would be a cool moment when an AI publicly demonstrates a really new perspective on a, on a truth, a discovery of a truth, of yeah. a novel truth. Yeah. Elon's trying to figure out uh, how to go to like Mars, right? And like obviously redesigned from Falcon to Starship. If an AI had given him that insight when he started the company itself said, look Elon, like I know you're gonna work hard on Falcon, but the right, you need to redesign it for higher payloads. And, and this is the way to go. That sort of uh, thing will be way more valuable. And it, it, it doesn't seem like it's easy to estimate when it will happen. All, all we can say for sure is it's likely to happen at some point. There's nothing fundamentally impossible about designing a system of this nature. And when it happens, it'll have incredible, incredible impact. That's true. Yeah, if you have a high power thinkers like Elon, or I imagine when I've had a conversation with Ilyas Skever, like just talking about yeah. any topic, yeah. you're like, the yeah. ability to think through a thing. I mean, you mentioned PhD student, we can just go to that. But to have an AI system that can legitimately be an assistant to Ilyas Skever or Andre Karpathy yeah. when they're thinking through an idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, like if, if you had an AI Ilya or an AI Andre, not exactly like uh, yeah. you know in the anthropomorphic way. Yes, but uh, a session, like even a half an hour chat with that AI, for like, completely change the way you thought about your current problem. That is so valuable. What do you think happens? If we have those two AIs and we create a million copies of each, so we have a million Ilias mm -hmm. and a, a million Andre Kapat. They're talking to each other. They're talking to each other. That would be cool. I mean, I yeah, that's a self play idea, yeah. right? And uh, I, I think I think I think that's where where it gets interesting. Where it could end up being an echo chamber too, right? Mm -hmm. They're just saying the same things and it's boring. Uh, <laughs> Or it could be like you could uh, like within the Andre AIs. I mean, I feel like there would be clusters, right? No, you you need to ha insert some element of like like random seeds where uh, even though the the core intelligence capabilities are the same level, uh, they have like different worldviews, and and right. and 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 because of that, it forces the some element of new signal to arrive at. Like both are truth seeking, but they have different worldviews or like you know different perspectives because they are, there's some ambiguity about the fundamental things. And that could ensure that like, you know, both of them arrive at new truth. It's not clear how to do all this without hard coding these things yourself. Right, so you have to somehow not hard code yeah. the curiosity aspect of exactly. this whole thing. And, and that's why this whole self-play thing doesn't seem very easy to scale right now.